Thank you very much, Dracos. And yes, happy birthday, Broxa. You got yourself a 2-0 that you had a hand in making. And it sounded like the crowd was uh, definitely chanting it out at the beginning. Did that give you the birthday buff? <laughs> well, it was pretty fun because I was just sitting uh, in practice tool, practicing some Lee Sin as usual. And then suddenly someone on the team, I think it was Jesse, said that the crowd was singing or something. And then I just take the headset off and they're singing happy birthday for me. Like, it was crazy. So it gave a good boost. Certainly helped out this time around. And now, you guys had a little bit of a rough start to the week when you lost against NIP. It didn't matter for the standings, but what happened there? <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened against NIP, actually. I think... It was a combination of us underperforming and them just playing really, really solid. Like both that draft and how they played in game was really, really good. Um, and I think they have for sure improved so much um, during the split. So it was just well deserved. They played well. Yeah, they certainly did look really good. And you guys, of course, today really kind of shut out any doubt by taking out G2 2 and 0. And since this is a matchup that you could very well play again in the playoffs. How important was this on-stage experience, especially when there wasn't anything but pride on the line? I think this game was more or less just, you know, to see how we stand right now. We wanted to play some of the stuff we know works to, like, get redemption after the series against NIP and at the same time see how we stand and what we need to improve on before playoffs. So, you know, now we have two different series to split that we, or not to split this week, that we can look at and then we can prepare for playoffs well. Well, that's totally fair. Did, were you worried at all that, that G2 might troll you guys a little bit? Perks was talking up that Yasuo. <laughs> well, to be fair, if they locked in Haimo or Master Yi or Nunu or whatever else there was in the other series, then uh, it would just increase our chances of winning, I think, so we wouldn't mind it. Oh, well, there you go. All right, so touching back on this matchup, uh, before we send it back over to the desk, you guys cannot actually play G2 until the finals because of the way the reseeding now works. So that would be the only time you'd be meeting them in the playoffs. Do you think that will be the finals? I think there's a decent chance that we're going to meet G2 in the finals. But at the same time, it's really hard to tell. Like, we can't even be sure if, you know, who gets into the finals in the end. Um, last split, for example, we were expected to get absolutely destroyed in quarters. And then we just 3-0 H2K and go to semis. So it's really hard to tell what happens on the day, but I'm confident that we are going to finals. So if you guys are going to be one of the final teams, is there any other team that you're keeping an eye on that you think might just be the ones to get into there, whether it's HK Unicorns, anybody else? I think both G2 and H2K are extremely solid right now, so there's a high chance that uh, we might face one of them. Well, no matter what, it's definitely going to be an interesting matchup for sure. Now, congratulations and happy birthday once again, Bronx. <laughs> Thanks. All right, back to Dracos and the dudes to close things out.